Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the survey, the feature of 3D printing, which was done in 2021. This exact same survey was also done in 2015 and 2018. So we have a couple of other surveys to compare them to. And um, I'm going to go through some key questions of this survey to give you a better overview. So in the first questions, the participants were asked about their experience and they had four categories to choose from, less than six months, less than a year, less than two years, and more than two years. We can see that in 2015, 32% of the participants had more than two years of experience, and this figure more than doubled in 2021, up to 66%. So um, keep in mind that this newer survey in 2021 has more experienced users. Uh, another question that was asked was how happy the users were with their 3D printer and the print quality. There was a scale from 1 to 10 where 1 was very poor and 10 was perfect where they could rate their 3D printer. In this graph, the blue line is from the survey in 2015 and the red line is from the year 2018 and the green one from 2021. The average rating the users gave uh, for their 3D printer in 2015 was a 7.06 and this number rose up to 7.31 in 2018 and again in 2021 up to 7.76. So we see there is a steady increase in satisfaction levels with 3D printers. Again, remembering that a majority of the three, um, respondents to the survey in 2021 had more than two years of experience. And there is definitely a tendency on all those years that a more experienced users gave their 3D printer a better rating. However, there is, even though in each category of the experience levels, there's a steady increase in satisfaction levels. So we can assume that you know, in general, 3D printers become, are becoming more user-friendly. Another question in this survey depicted a potential future scenario where a company creates a 3D printable product. However, since not all the parts could be 3D printed, you would need some kind of build kit and that company would sell this build kit. The participants were then asked if they would buy such a build kit and in 2015, 80% were on board with this concept, 2018 was 86 and in 2021 it was 92. So we can see that every three years we get about 6% more acceptance levels. So, and the acceptance levels are quite high for this business model already in 2015. Obviously the question had to be asked if 3D printing and open source still goes hand in hand. So, the respondents of the survey were asked if they would still buy the um, original build kit from the company, even though a competitor comes onto the market with a cheaper one. And in 2015, 48% said yes, 2018, 52, and in 2021, 57%. So again, we can see here a trend upwards, and we can still see that open source and 3D printing is still a very valid business philosophy in the 3D printing market. I know that people respond in surveys more idealistic than they act in real life. However, we still have to um, acknowledge that a majority in the 3D printing community values open source quite highly. I think the survey was quite interesting. I hope you think this, this as well and potentially you have a different view on some certain things. So if you want, um, you can leave a, a comment down below um, and express your thoughts. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.